Are you a contractor or homeowner looking to improve the safety of your home's electrical system? Our Eaton Certified Contractor Network, or ECCN, focuses on electrical safety, reliability, and efficiency solutions for today's modern homes. Why is electrical safety so important? This is pretty simple. For all homeowners out there, you want to make sure your home is wired properly, not just for electrical shocks that you could get, your kids could get, or your friends and family can get. It's also fire hazard. Too much power drawn off of something that was done wrong can easily cause an arc and start a fire. Not to mention, getting a permit for all your electrical is not only important, it happens to be a law here in Canada. You want the permit. You want to make sure that anyone that touches electrical, and it should be a licensed electrical contractor, they pull a permit. This is a document that you get to have for insurance purposes and for resale value that everything in your home is safe. That is important. You don't want a fire and you don't want anyone to get killed. Welcome to the Power Systems Experience Center, where we can show you live demonstrations of electrical systems. Today we're going to show you five ways to improve the safety of your home and if you're a contractor, we will show you ways to build safety into your designs. Let's get started! Number one, for existing homes, inspect your electrical system from the meter socket to the outlets in your home. Have a licensed electrician or qualified electrical inspector perform a thorough evaluation of your electrical system. Sometimes things are simply installed incorrectly from the beginning or they deteriorate over time due to age, weather, rodents, or other reasons. This should include visual and physical inspection as well as testing and a thermal scan of your load center and key electrical equipment. Don't wait until you're selling your home to have your electrical system checked. Find and fix problems now so your home is safer for you and your family, not just the next owner. We have seen examples of people replacing perfectly good appliances only to find out that there was a loose wire or damaged circuit breaker feeding the appliance. A careful inspection of the circuit feeding your stove or air conditioner could save you a lot of money and protect you from electrical shock or other safety issues. Number two, take advantage of new technology. If your home was built more than a few years ago, it is likely that there are reasons to consider an upgrade to circuit breakers and other protective devices to improve the safety of your home's electrical system. Install AFCI and GFCI breakers and receptacles as these devices are able to monitor the electrical wiring, electrical devices, appliances, and other loads throughout the entire home. These safety devices can see what we can't, such as damaged electrical wiring behind the drywall in crawl spaces or attics. They are on duty 24 seven to protect you and your home, whether you are awake or asleep, or whether you are at home or at work. Many electrical fires in homes can be prevented with arc fault circuit interrupters or AFCIs. Ground fault circuit interrupters or GFCIs can help protect you and your family from electrical shock, especially around wet locations. Even if the NEC allows you to keep the devices you installed before AFCI and GFCI devices were required, consider upgrading your devices with new technology now to protect your home and family. Other new technologies that can make your home safer include surge protection and backup power. Surge protection can protect your valuable electronic systems, including your home security. Backup power includes generators and battery storage to protect your home in the event of a power outage. This ensures you can open your garage door and electronic door locks. And finally, small UPSs can power things like your Wi-Fi system, since we rely so heavily on internet connections for phone and other emergency systems. Number three, don't forget about your electrical equipment. We really don't think about maintenance when it comes to electrical equipment in our homes, but you should. Pay attention to cords, exposed wires, light fixtures, broken or missing receptacle and light switch covers, and exposed wires or damaged breakers in your load center. Look for water damage, especially with outdoor receptacles and lighting, and in your garage 
where temporary wiring is frequently added with the intention to fix it later. In addition, have your AFCI and GFCI breakers and receptacles checked to verify they're in good operating condition electronically and mechanically. If they don't operate as expected, replace them. Look for heat damage to wires, breakers, and other electrical components. If the equipment is operating at a higher than expected temperature, it is likely to fail prematurely. Find out why, fix the problem, and replace the equipment if necessary. Number four, always ensure proper wiring methods and pay attention to the electrical ratings of your equipment. Don't overload extension cords or circuits. Don't piggyback power strips to another one just to get an extra few outlets. Don't double up wires on a circuit breaker. Consider using a twin breaker if it is allowed with your load center and correctly rated. The circuit breakers in your home protect the wires. For example, if you use a 14 gauge wire, you have to use 15 amp breakers or lower. If you use a 12 gauge wire, you would use a 20 amp breaker. But you could use a 15 amp breaker, even though you wouldn't be able to use the full capacity of the 12 gauge wire. Many electrical problems start when rushing or repairing something that has been damaged. Although you may plan to come back and fix things later, temporary wiring and connections end up as permanent fixes. You'll probably never come back to fix an open air splice later, even if you had good intentions. Simple things like wire color can be a safety issue and are NEC code violations. For example, you may only have white or green wire available and you need to make an electrical connection that would normally use black wire. If you're troubleshooting this circuit, it is very possible that you could mistake a 120 volt energized conductor for a neutral or a ground, and you may receive an electrical shock or cause a short circuit. Finally, grounding and bonding are critical to make sure your circuit breakers will trip correctly during a fault condition. Never, never, never remove or cut a ground wire from a metal box load center, extension cord, or plug to make it fit. And number five, for new construction and upgrades, build safety into your design. Take advantage of the latest technologies like AFCI, GFCI, and dual function AF, GF breakers. Also consider using the best available technologies for receptacles, including tamper resistant receptacles to protect children and accidental contact. Pay attention to lighting circuits in the garage and outdoor areas. Usually, this is an afterthought, and without proper lighting, you may create other issues like tripping hazards caused by cords from temporary lighting. Also, you may have security problems on the outside of your home. Another common safety issue is not having the right number of receptacles, especially in an area that doesn't require as many by the NEC. A great example is your garage. It's likely that you'll operate shop backs, table saws, and other power equipment in your garage. But without receptacles strategically placed, you may run into issues with cords creating a tripping hazard or having to use long extension cords. In general, correctly installing more receptacles is better for safety. That also goes with new home offices and bedrooms where lots of electronics are used and power cords may not safely reach the receptacles you have. Minimize the distance to your outlets and minimize the use of extension cords. Islands and peninsulas have created a new concern for parents, where the outlet on the end of the island or peninsula is a convenient place to plug in a crock pot, a griddle, or even a deep fryer full of hot oil. A child may grab that cord or accidentally pull these hot items down on themselves and be badly burned. Countertop mounted receptacles are usually the answer to this problem or simply don't place these items on the island or peninsula. The opposite issue is that if you don't have an outlet on the peninsula or island, a cord draped across from a wall outlet presents an equally dangerous situation. These are a few ideas to get you started with electrical safety in your home. Our Eaton certified contractors can show you lots of ways to help you design and build with a focus on safety. If you want more information, contact us or your local Eaton representative to schedule a visit to one of Eaton's Power Systems Experience Centers today.